Hello everyone, welcome again and today uh, I'm going to show you demonstration of the Java uh, Java project and this is the online job portal. So for the technology wise, we are using uh, like JSP and Servlet under this. It's following MDC architecture. You can see the beans controller exceptions model details are uh, packages are there. And under the controllers, you will find the servlets and uh, to manage the front end, it's using HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, and JSP. And uh, uh, it's a Maven application, so form.xml is there. And we are deploying this on Tomcat, and which is the localhost server. To store the information, we are using MySQL Workbench and Azure MySQL Workbench interface. Under this, uh, we have database as a job portal, and that contains the multiple tables uh, jobs, user, rules, resume, apply. And to view the data of any table, you can just right click on the user table and click uh, just like the first option, you will be able to see the data over there. There are three types of roles in this application the user, uh, the admin, uh, role ID 1 will be for the admin, 2 will be for the like, uh, uh, like the recruiter, and 3 will be for the user, or uh, you can say the guy who's going to um, search for the job. So let's run the application and check uh, the, all the features and functionality, how the things are working. Also, if you want the source code, you can connect us over the WhatsApp Skype or mail, and we will do the complete setup at your machine. And after this configuration from our team, you will get the complete project in this state. And after that, you have to run and follow this demo in order to execute the application. So first thing, uh, you have to run to do the Eclipse ID on which uh, the project is configured, and the second is MySQL Workbench. After that. You have to right click on the root folder of the application, go to run as, run on server, select the server as a Tomcat, click on finish. Automatically, it will launch over your Chrome browser or whatever that your default browser in the configuration of your Eclipse. It will be uh, open that browser and open here. So, this will be your home page. And after that, we have two options over here login and sign up into the, into the header section. So when I click on the login and if you are a new employee, you can register it from here. So let's enter some data and register it over there. And for, so I'm going to enter some dummy data and just make sure while you're adding the data into the field, you are adding a valid data. So like this is a login ID, so it should be a proper email ID and we have the of birth and the gender, it should be email. And I'll put it in email. And into the phone number, it should be a very 10 digit phone number. So I'm going to just random number. And I'm going to add or write some random number over there. <laughs> Click on sign up, and the new record will be inserted into the database. And if you refresh the user table now, you will see the new 13 members record is over there. And this is the as the end user, or you can say the employees who's going to employer pressure candidate who's going to uh, search the job. So there is a common uh, page for the login for all user. We are differentiating them according to their user's role ID. So I'm going to log in as an admin now, and let's see what admin can do over there. And then we'll see the features and functionality for the recruiter and recruiter HR or and other users or customers. So here again, this is a home page, and we have another option to add a recruiter. So when I submit the form from here, it will be registered as a recruiter. So let's add it again, and I just enter some data. And let's say it should be a valid data. So I just say a valid gmail.com password and yeah, so gender and the phone number. Click on save. When I save the recruiter, it's added. Now, if I check the recruiter list, I can see this newly added data over there. Three records are there into the recruiter. Also, if you notice into the database table, the recruiter ID always will be registered as a two, and the user ID registered as a three, and admin will be default and static user that is a uh, come with row ID one. Okay, so here, what I can do as an admin uh, for the recruiter list under the recruiter list, first thing I can search any recruiter by its name. So, I just need to enter the fill of the date here as a first name and then when you click on the search button it will filter the data and hit the search button again it will display me the complete data and again we have added options so if i want i can edit the record over there let's suppose i want to change the phone number as a last five 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 four nine that is right okay again we have to enter the password while we are updating the data so i'll just repeat my password Click on save. So it's using proper validation in case, like if you want to uh, submit an uh, empty form, it will give an error. So now you can see the uh, 
phone number is updated and if you fill up the any blank data it would give you proper validation but so it's following all the like uh, standards of development so now as it's following mdc architecture and the many features are over there if you are a new learner you can go for it so under the this we are operating all the crude operations in this recruiter list similarly in the user list the user will come here and we can edit the user we can delete the user we can uh, once the record will reach on a particular number 10 or more than 10 then this button will be uh, like uh, enable and you can click when you click on this it will display the next record in the table and again here also you can search the any user by its name so here is that we have a recruiters and here we have a users and in my profile section i'm like admin can update his profile here from here on the change password and you can change the password and when i click here and click here so it will be log out from the admin now now let's log in as a recruiter so what recruiter can do and then we'll move to the other user so uh, i'm going to uh, log in as an existing recruiter that have some records already so it will be easy to understand the features so what recruiter can do or HR can do, they can add a new job. So let's say I'm going to add a new job. So I'm just again entering a dummy data and uh, languages of requirement. Let's say I'm going to do Java, C, C++ and uh, that of uh, job or you can say when you are going to posting the job. So let's say, uh, okay, I need, uh, when I hit the default data over there, so it's, uh, some some I'm, I'm i'm using extension to fill up the data so it's uh, added random data over here so i just updated the current date and when you click on this calendar it will redirect you to over there so you can change the date from over there address and the description of the job uh, so i just added dummy text click on save so job is set successfully now you can see now uh, we can see the new data job here again you can perform all the good operation like you can search any job by its language so let's suppose i'm going to um, I, I, I want a job that is related to the Java language so when, when I hit the search option it will display the job over there and you can also say it, uh, search the job by like its uh, company name so I just let's suppose I'm going to enter this job and this company name over there hit the search button it will filter out the data for me again we can edit and delete the data and after that uh, the job module the recruiter can apply uh, can check the list of applied job that user is going or uh, any employer pressure candidate going to apply for the job that all the list will be information will be displayed here we can search them by username so uh, also we can view the resume of that user that's uploaded by the user when we log in by the user we'll see the how, how they can upload the uh, resume over there how they can apply for the job and here in this list uh, we can view the resume as a HR so when I click on this it will give me a PDF that is uh, sent it by the user uh, similarly and other PDF if it is available into the database it will be displayed here we are using dummy PDF it's not a real resume but you can add so uh, apply job list is done under the my profile again as admin can update its profile the recruiter can also update the profile change password and now we have registered as a new user recent so i am going to log into this user and let's uh, okay it's not it's a recruiter this is the user so i'm going to register with this user and let's see how we can apply the job or we'll search job and how can we apply the job so under the job list section now we have different features over here uh, so as an employer pressure candidate i'm going to search the job from here by company name or language here i have for all the listed jobs are there and here i have option to apply with resume apply without resume let's suppose i'm going to apply with resume so here uh, automatically it will fetch the details of job and uh, i can upload a resume over there uh, so i just added one pdf on sample pdf so you can upload the real resume click on the process let's apply for the job and when I hit here, uh, apply job list, so I can check the list of the jobs on which we I have personally applied from this candidate account. Okay, it will not display the list of all the users. It will be displayed to the uh, recruiter or admin only. Also, I can check uh, my PDF here that is I've just uploaded. And uh, again, we have another option to apply job without resume, but this user cannot apply again because it's already applied for the job. So we can apply for this job I guess. So when you click on this apply job and let's suppose I'm going to trying to apply the job again 
uh, the same job it will it should give me a validation error like uh, the job is already applied and let's apply for another job without resume let's look at this so here i if i'm not adding the resume the resume will be generated automatically and it will send it to the um recruiter uh, so i'm going to fill in the same data, data like name email phone number mobile number objective and percentage so this is dummy data let me filter out the data let's say i'm going to enter that percent percentage in a graduation course and year 10 12 so whatever the information should be mandatory into the resume to be displayed here and i'll just click on the save should i yeah i can edit it just make sure you are entering the valid data so data is uh it's, it's, it's applied successfully now you can see now i have uh, added some information and applied without resume but still i have the resume here uh, i have applied for this without resume admin uh like going to click on this recruiter link on this 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 pdf it will be display the resume to them so let's log in by the recruiter again and uh, let's try to view the resume so i just log in again as a recruit so under the job list section under the apply job list section you can check the pdfs over there you can view them and it will be display like it and uh, yeah, that's it. Again, my file change password recruiter demonstration is already done. So it's a complete project uh, as a job portal and it's an embassy project and it's a good for uh, like minor or even like it's, 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 it cannot be minor. It's a major project and you can uh, understand this thing if you are learning or if you are be beginners, especially for the final student, I will recommend you to take this and just understand the entire code flow will really help you to understand the real time uh, development process how the things is work as, 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 as a real time project you have learned the technologies but until you will not create a dummy projects you will not be able to understand the real development